Every time you surf the web, from shopping to browsing news, you leave behind digital fingerprints. These fingerprints, though invisible, are powerful tools that websites use to identify and track your online movements. Websites such as Google and many others possess the capability to ascertain with a staggering 99% accuracy that you visited their site on a specific date and time. This remarkable level of precision is achieved through the use of browser fingerprinting, a sophisticated technology that meticulously tracks and identifies your unique digital footprint as you navigate the online world. This tool allows these sites to recognize your individual browser amidst the vast sea of internet users, pinpointing your specific activities. At the end, we'll give you a website where you can test your browser for vulnerabilities, find out how many digital fingerprints you leave behind, and understand if you specifically are easy to track. Today, we're diving deep into what browser fingerprinting really is, unraveling the mystery of what personal data websites collect and revealing what they truly know about you. But what exactly is browser fingerprinting? Is it different from the cookies we often hear about? And more importantly, how does it affect your privacy and online experience? This video aims to answer these questions, shedding light on a process that operates silently in the background of your daily internet use. We'll explore how browser fingerprinting works, the types of information it can gather, and the implications it has for your personal privacy. This is more than just a technological concept. It's a window into how your online identity is formed and perceived by the digital world. Chapter 1. What is browser fingerprinting? Now let's delve into the core of our topic. What exactly is browser fingerprinting? Imagine your browser as a canvas, painting a unique picture of you. This technique involves collecting various details about your browser and device configuration, creating a digital signature that's as unique as a fingerprint. When you visit a website, it's not just the page you see. Behind the scenes, a script runs, scanning your browser. It notes the version of the browser you're using, the plugins installed, your screen resolution, time zone, language settings, and even the fonts on your system. This combination of attributes creates a distinct profile, or a fingerprint, of your device. Unlike traditional tracking methods like cookies, browser fingerprinting doesn't rely on storing data on your device. It's a more subtle art. Websites add a small piece of JavaScript code to the HTTP response sent to your browser. This code quietly assesses publicly available parameters of your browser and then compiles this information into your unique digital signature. This method of tracking is nuanced and much less obvious than cookies. Where cookies can be easily spotted and blocked, browser fingerprints are far more elusive. They don't leave a direct trail and can continue to track users across different websites even after cookies are deleted. To put it simply, browser fingerprinting is the digital equivalent of gathering clues to piece together your online identity. It's a sophisticated, almost imperceptible way that websites get to know you, your habits and preferences without you ever realizing it. Chapter 2. Methods of Browser Fingerprinting First, there's audio fingerprinting. This technique utilizes the unique sound pattern of your device's microphone. When a website plays a sound, it can discern not just the browser, but also the specifics of your device. Next is clock skew. This method might sound like something from a spy novel, but it's very real. Websites use the minute variations in your device's system time to gather information. It's a subtle yet effective way to glean insights about your browser version and installed plugins. Then we have HTML5 canvas fingerprinting. This modern method uses the HTML5 canvas element to render an image based on your device's data, such as screen size and installed fonts. It's like an artist creating a portrait based on the unique characteristics of your device. Rendering and WebGL fingerprinting are similar to canvas fingerprinting. These methods force your browser to render images using the results to infer information about your device's graphic system and hardware. Browser plugins also play a role. By exploiting these plugins, Companies can gather data about your device and operating system, creating a unique signature for your browser. Device fingerprinting is more comprehensive. It collects a range of data from your device, including user agents, IP addresses, screen resolutions, system fonts, color depth, and more. This process uncovers even the minute media devices on your computer, like your video and audio card. Transparent pixels is another method where tasks like client-side rendering are redirected to the server side, allowing websites to gather information about browsers, screen resolutions, browser plugins, and other system characteristics. Each of these methods offers a different lens through which websites can view and understand your online activities. They work together to build a comprehensive profile that represents you in the digital world. As we continue our journey, We'll see how these methods are applied in real-world scenarios and the implications they carry. When you put all these aspects together, you get a completely unique digital print. 
For example, you live in the GMT5 time zone. Your IP address is from Boston, Massachusetts. You have a certain version of Mac OS installed. Your browser is Google Chrome of a certain version. You use some plugins and we know their names. Your computer has 145 fonts. Your screen resolution is 1920x1080. Your device's color depth is 8 bits and you have a Shoresome 7B microphone connected to your computer. Believe me, there's no other person with that kind of fingerprint. The website knows for sure that it is you. Chapter 3. Uses of Browser Fingerprinting How browser fingerprinting is utilized in the digital realm? Initially, its uses were rather protective in nature. For instance, security firms employed browser fingerprinting to detect and deter software piracy. Online gaming platforms used it to prevent players from cheating by altering system configurations. Moreover, websites incorporated this technology to combat credit card fraud by creating online personas of users, allowing them to recognize and block transactions from unfamiliar fingerprints. However, with advancements in technology, the application of browser fingerprinting has evolved. Today, it's a cornerstone in digital marketing strategies, helping companies tailor their advertising campaigns based on users' interests and online behavior. This not only enhances the effectiveness of marketing, but also aids in creating a more personalized user experience. Furthermore, browser fingerprinting plays a significant role in dynamic pricing. Companies use it to adjust prices and offers based on the perceived purchasing power of the user. This approach is particularly prevalent in competitive markets where businesses strive to maximize profits while maintaining their brand value. In summary, browser fingerprinting, once a tool for security and fraud prevention, has transformed into a sophisticated instrument for personalized marketing and strategic business practices. Chapter 4. Privacy Concerns and Legalities Browser fingerprinting raises significant privacy issues because it enables the tracking of users' online activities without their explicit consent. This invisible tracking can lead to a comprehensive digital profile, including personal preferences, behavior, and even location data. Legally, the situation is complex. In the United States, there are no specific laws governing browser fingerprinting. General data protection regulations, like those in Vermont and California, do cover some forms of data collection and online tracking, but they don't explicitly address browser fingerprinting. This legal ambiguity leaves a gray area in terms of user privacy and data protection. The lack of clear legal guidelines coupled with the potential for deep privacy. Invasions makes browser fingerprinting a contentious issue. It highlights the growing need for more robust privacy laws and better user awareness about how their online data is being used and potentially exploited. As technology continues to advance, the conversation around digital privacy and legal protections becomes increasingly critical. Chapter 5 how to protect yourself. Let's explore how you can protect yourself against browser fingerprinting. While completely avoiding it is challenging, there are steps you can take to reduce its impact. Firstly, consider disabling Flash. It allows websites to access your graphics processing unit, making your system more identifiable. Reducing the number of plugins and extensions in your browser can also help. Each plugin has a unique signature, contributing to your digital fingerprint. Regular software updates are crucial, they not only bring the latest features, but also close security gaps that could be exploited for fingerprinting. Using privacy-focused plugins like Adblock Plus, Privacy Badger, and NoScript can block scripts designed for tracking. Incognito mode is a simple yet effective tool. It doesn't save cookies or temporary files, making it harder for websites to track your activities. Anti-malware tools are essential for scanning and removing malicious programs that might track your browser fingerprint. Specialty browsers like Tor offer enhanced privacy by encrypting data and routing it through multiple servers worldwide. Be cautious with smartphone usage. Smartphones have unique hardware and software fingerprints that can be used for tracking. Finally, the most significant tool that can prevent the collection of your browser fingerprints is proxies. Using a proxy can help counteract the collection of your browser fingerprints in several ways. First, IP address masking. A proxy hides your real IP address which is a crucial component of browser fingerprinting. By presenting an alternate IP address, it makes it more difficult for websites to track your actual location and internet service provider. Second, anonymity. Proxies provide a level of anonymity, reducing the ability of websites to link your browser activities directly to your identity. Third, session isolation. By using different proxy servers for different browsing sessions, you can prevent websites from correlating these sessions to a single user further complicating the fingerprinting process. However, it's important to note that while proxies provide a layer of protection against certain types of tracking, they don't completely prevent browser fingerprinting, 
as other non-IP-related browser characteristics, like browser version, operating system, installed fonts, etc., can still be used to create a unique fingerprint. Combining a proxy with other privacy measures, such as using privacy-focused browsers or extensions, can enhance overall privacy. If you need quality proxies to help you avoid being tracked and detected, visit Rayobyte's website at the link in the description of this video. If you want to check your browser's fingerprinting, you can use a browser tester, like Cover Your Tracks. This tool is a project of the Electronic Frontier Foundation and allows you to test your browser's fingerprint. You just have to click on the Test Your Browser button and follow the on-screen commands. The tool runs multiple tests to assess the identity of your browser. It also checks if your browser blocks ads, whitelisted trackers, and invisible ads. Plus, it also checks if your browser is protected from browser fingerprinting on the whole.